All right, so we're in Cape Toronto, Missouri today. Going to do a few full down auto rotations there. Oh, yep, well, primer again. So if you live where the weather is cold and you got a Raven 1 with carburetors, pretty hard to start. You definitely got to have a primer on these things. If it's fuel injected, it's easy to start in the winter, hard to start in the summer. Carburetors are hard to start in the winter and easy to start in the summer. RPMs right at 60%. Waiting on the clutch light to go out. Clutch light goes out, we'll come up to 70% for the warm up. So we're going to go out and okay, clutch lights out. We'll come up to 70% for the warm-up. Let our engine temps come on up. So today we're going to go out and do some full-down auto rotations. Um, I learned everything I know about auto rotations by flying gyroplanes. Auto rotation in a gyroplane is called a landing. So you're always in auto rotation in a gyro. So Once I lower the collective on this uh, helicopter, guess what? It acts just like a gyroplane with a couple, uh, couple differences that we'll talk about later. Lower that collective, you're an unpowered rotor crab. And we'll take a listen to the winds. Condition overcast two thousand two hundred temperature zero five Celsius dew point zero one Celsius altimeter two niner eight niner remarks density altitude minus seven hundred Cape Girardeau Municipal Airport automated weather observation one five zero six Zulu wind three one zero at one four Visibility one zero. Sky condition overcast two. So three one zero one four. <clears throat> Guess we'll use runway two eight. In fact, what we'll probably end up doing is using the taxiway adjacent to runway two eight. We're not even going to use the runway. Okay. Okay. Wait for my gauges to get up into the green. Still not quite there. So learning to do full down auto rotations is quite a confidence builder. A lot of students have never done one, especially if they uh, 
If you don't have your CFI, it's not required to get your commercial that you actually be proficient at doing full downs. It is for your CFI. Days gone by, you actually did full down auto rotations on your check ride to get your uh, CFI. But uh, now the FAA has kind of changed the process. I guess they didn't want to shoulder the uh, liability, so they have you do it with your instructor. Hopefully you got an instructor that's proficient at it and you don't tear up an aircraft. <clears throat> but now they have, a do it, have you do it with your instructor when you're uh, going to be getting your CFI. So it's a real confidence builder. Most people, uh, a lot of helicopter pilots have never really done them all the way to the ground if they've been trained uh, just through to your commercial. And you ought to at least have rode through a few of them and done a few uh, just for, uh, like I say, just for proficiency. So don't recommend you go out by yourself doing a bunch of full down auto rotation practice. But it's something that you ought to get together with an instructor that's well versed in full downs and, uh, and get a few under your belt. Okay, so looking at my gauges, I got green, green, green. I'm going to come on up. We do our mag checks at 90. Robinson has, them, has you do them at 75, basically for noise abatement, and uh, here we don't care about noise abatement. I do my mag checks at 90 if I got a drop. I got a much more prominent drop at 90 than I do at 75. Hey, mag one bag is a little rough there. All right, gonna come up to check my horn and my light. And there it is. Gonna roll the throttle down, split the needles. There we go. When you roll the throttle down to split the needles, you don't need to just chop it, especially on a super cold engine, or an engine that's relatively cold. Just roll it down nice and gently. And All right, pre-takeoff checklist. Clear the area. I'm clear left. I'm clear right, except for a hangar, a truck, a golf cart, and a flag, and I don't know what else is over there. But. All right, doors and seatbelts are secure. Got the warning lights are all out except for the governor. Gauges are now in the green. We got plenty of fuel for what we're going to do today. Radios are tuned. I'm on the tower frequency. I got my, I'm not going to need the GPS. Coming off with my, fric or my frictions, off of my cyclic friction, off with the collective friction. Roll it up to 90%. Turn the governor on. The governor will take it. Right on up. If we can actually fly this thing. Yeah, let's sneak it over here. And Cape Terry, good morning. Uh, copter uh, 211 Tangle Bravo down on the Cape Copter ramp. 211 Tangle Bravo Cape, good morning. What can I do for you? Uh, Tim, I'd like to go out, uh, proceed uh, initially to the west, 180 back to the east. I'd like to do a series of full down auto rotations to Alpha Taxiway. Uh, aircraft actually slides much better on Alpha Taxiway than it does on the uh, runway. One Tango Bravo, the wind, 300 at 15, altimeter 29er, 89er, use caution, departing a non-movement area, proceed as requested. Yeah, One Tango Bravo is on the go. Departed to the west, we're 180 and back to the east, wind's out of the west.